We're the Great Western Air Ambulance Charity and we're funded by you. I swerved right to try and avoid the truck and I didn't have enough time. I don't know if I thought that was my time's up, but I knew it wasn't going to be good. I don't remember a lot of the accident. I remember a split second somewhere in my memory of, blimey, I'm going to hit. Intuitively, I just leaned to the right to try and get out of the way and didn't make it. There are, are a pattern of tragic injuries that can occur to a cyclist in a collision with a lorry. This impact ricocheted right the way down my neck and spine and just broke things on the way down through. A spinal injury is one of those slightly strange injuries in that what you need to do is a whole lot of nothing, but you need to do that incredibly carefully and you need to keep the patient incredibly still and you need to take them to hospital as quickly as you possibly can. My only real memory at the scene was being lifted into the back of the uh, helicopter. I remember distinctly Adrian was able to verbalise things to us and that is a minor relief at that time because you know it's unlikely they've suffered a catastrophic head injury. My injuries included two breaks in my neck, nine fractures and breaks down my spine, five broken ribs and a minor stroke. The paramedics took care of me at the scene and I was airlifted into Southmead Hospital in Bristol. A lot of what we bring by going to a job is not necessarily the speed at which that patient can get the treatment, it's the quality of treatment and it's about actually how that patient is managed pre-hospitally. I will always be eternally grateful to the charity for taking care of me. My recovery is probably very much down to that immediate care at the scene. The Great Western Air Ambulance Charity works very closely with the ambulance service, but provides things that the ambulance service are unable to do. The stuff that the medical team here can do, it still blows my mind, even after eight years. You may be lucky enough to never need it, but when you do need it, you're gonna be forever grateful to everyone that's contributed to keep these paramedics, doctors, helicopters, the rapid response teams up and running because when you need it, you really need it. It's life and death.